Okay, we're leaving our Airbnb in this whack ass elevator again. You hear that? It looks really not nice. Okay, almost there. Third floor. Joke. Ow! Yeah. Oh my god! Off to drop our bags. Then we're gonna do our own tour. It's me. Hello. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday. No, I'm not wearing the same underwear though. <laughs> I had a uh, secret emergency pair of underwear in my bag that I didn't know about. <laughs> so I'm good with the underwear. But my clothes exactly the same as yesterday. Got a 15 gigabyte SIM. We're only gonna be using it until 8. Probably even less because the airport has actually good Wi-Fi. So... Yeah, we just got this so that we don't get uh, the taxi drivers here, all scammers, based on the two that we saw. Yeah, and this is like cheaper than, than a taxi, yeah. Taxi. That's true. Um, from yesterday, the train, the bus station to our hotel, uh, according to a local that my mom got into contact with, it's only supposed to be 700 to 900 dinar, which is like um, 350 to 450 uh, pesos. They at first asked for 2,000 dinar and I was like, what the fuck? Are you an idiot? So then we went to the next guy. He said the same thing. So then I was like, fine, uh, can we bring it down? And then we agreed to 1,100. He said 1,100. Then I was like, fine, okay, you stupid cunt. And then when we got to our place, all of a sudden, I gave him the 1,100. He was like, no, not this. I meant another number and the another the other number he meant was 1500 he pulled out his phone then he typed 1500 and then he claimed that he doesn't speak english well but then i was looking at him right in his face he was about to say 1500 because i really wouldn't budge he went like no not not 1100 i meant 1000 i don't know english he made the f with his mouth then i was like and that's when I was like, no, you said 1,100, don't try to scam us. And then I just walked away. And you know, he didn't really fight much, which means, you know, he's just a scammer. But also if you think about it, that's 400 dinars, that's like 200 pesos long that I'd rather not get killed over. So maybe if he tried to stab us, I would have given it to him. But yeah, I, so far we've been here less than 24 hours. I kind of hate it here, but the weather's good. So yeah. It's nice and cold, it's what I like. All right, bye guys. Okay, we left our bags here. We're gonna leave it here until like six. <sighs> no moss, moss, no steam coming out of my mouth. What is it called? <gasps> oh, there is. Anyway, we left it here. It's kind of crazy. You book for a place to leave your bags and then they told us to leave it at the restaurant. And I thought it'd be like near the restaurant but no, you just go in, leave them your bags, then the actual waiters, the workers okay, there, place, they take your they take your bags. So yeah. Isn't it? Guys, it's very fascinating. I really like just Sorry, I can't relate. I'm from the Philippines. It's like 35 degrees there all year round. Can you move? You're literally blocking my video, you can see. Oh my god, it's coming out of your mouth! Okay, so we're walking around looking for a place to eat. I mean, we know where to eat, but she has the directions. And it just feels so easy and breezy to just yeah, know where you're so going. Vulnerable. Yeah. Because like back then you're like, fuck, we could get lost at any moment and we wouldn't even know how to go back. So we don't have data. Which we don't speak the language. Back in the day. They had books. You remember those travel books? Yeah, th there are maps in there. So yeah, we're gonna look for a place to eat. I mean, yeah, like I said, we know where to eat. Basta, bye. Bruh, I'm kinda hungry, or I'm kinda hungry. So we're getting fries. My phone's wet. I'm getting fries as a snack, even though we're really close to the restaurant, right? What do you mean? First time seeing this sign. Attention, facade is falling off. <laughs> Fuck, please. Thank you. What is this then? 
mashed potato and stuffed peppers. And this one. I don't even know. Alright, we have stuff. It looks like a fish and chips. I didn't take a video of the whoa. I didn't take a video of the front. My sister said I need to, so on our way to the what's it called? Belgrade Fortress. Belgrade Fortress. Okay, so Malaysia apparently Baba. we're here. And this is the fortress. So we need to walk just straight down here until we see the thing. It's gonna be on our right side. Hello guys, welcome to Belgrade. River. What's the Belgrade River called? Danube? Hello guys, welcome to the Danube. Oh. Hello guys, welcome to the Sava River. Sava River. I don't know why there are random dinosaurs here. Whoa, that one's actually pretty big. Cool. It's a dino park right outside the gates of this. So the history of this dino park actually dates back to the same the same century as this. Not during time time. Yeah. Dates back to the same century as Justinian, Justinian yeah. Tanks, missiles, artillery, all that stuff. It's all here. Cool. Tanks, a boat. So this is a military museum and it was established in like the 1300s, right? Some some old time like that. 1800s, okay. Okay. Established in the 1800s, not the 1300s. And, but not at this spot, okay? Oh, you can still, oh wow, oh shit, fuck. I almost fell. Different cannons. They're all like covered up now. Unusable. 1904. Here is the Roman well. But just because we're so lucky in this trip, it's closed today. Like just today. Roman well will be closed on Saturday, November 11, 2023. Perfect. So this is the Victor Gate and that's the Victor Monument. Hello Victor. The wind is as strong as Pergamon. Maybe even a bit stronger. I'm not sure. But it is really windy. Oh wow, look at the river. What is that? By the way, it was called the Roman Well because people thought that the Romans built it, right? It was the Austrians who built it. Yeah. Here's an Ottoman mosque, randomly. Just in the middle of whatever. Uh, oh no, it's a mausoleum! It's a turbe. Can I say mosque? Tower. This apparently over here used to be the main entrance to this whole place. This clock gate, baroque gate, and the clock tower, which is actually still working. Cool. Here's a drinking fount fountain from Ottoman times. The only drinking fountain apparently in Belgrade. This is it. My face is very frozen by the way guys. But that's the fountain. There's a memorial back there for the siege of Belgrade where apparently the Ottoman forces and the Serbian forces were fighting for a day. That's the one, that's the memorial. And yeah, it, there was a year there that said like um the siege of 1453. And I was like, oh 1453? That was Sultan Mehmed II. And then when we were reading the thing it said Sultan Mehmed II. A lot of cool war stuff here, but mom wants us to check out some stuff. She wants us to eat something before we leave. So, can't check it out. Sadly. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to the church and it's kind of drizzling a little bit. Oh, the church looks, I don't know, looks kind of close to me. I hope it's not, but here's the church. Church. Oh. Ruzika Church. Uh, rumored to be built by three sisters and a wedding. Let's check it out. Here's the church. They're the only ones here. Chandeliers, these chandeliers are new, Dao. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go have some, get, it's 4.30 right now. We're gonna go get something to eat, and then we're gonna get the bags, and then off to the airport. Goodbye, Serbia. You know what? Not super bad. Slightly bad only. But only because of the taxi drivers and the time constraint it's kind of hard to get around here but it's nice to be walking around especially in this weather walking out of Shamuros and on our way to Jalibi okay bye guys we found where the trams make a u-turn oh and they have a stoplight for when to u-turn because oh my god they have turn signals too huh that's crazy Wait, I wanna watch this. Here it goes. Oh wow, they're all moving. I'm gonna walk this whole stretch. Joke, not this whole stretch, a kilometer this way. I've been walking for a while. How long is this walk supposed to be? 30 minutes? You didn't say that. I wasn't mentally prepared for that. So what is it? Huh? Oh, what the? I thought you were gaslighting me about... We have 30 minutes left? Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. We've been walking for 10 minutes? That felt so long. Okay, we're walking this way. And this place seems like so out of the way. No thirsty spots at all. That I kind of feel like a local, except... That's a sushi store. Guys, guess the time. Wrong, it's five. Ha, <laughs> idiot. Bye. Here's mashed bell peppers with bread, apparently. But I heard you ordered two things, or was this the one thing? Oh, okay. Wow, bread's not for you? That's crazy. Just finished eating there. Personally, didn't like it that much, but my sister did. It's like salsa ish, salsa dip. I like salsa dip, but it was a bit more sweet than salty. So I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, but she liked it. I don't know. Maybe you guys will like it. Oh, there's no name here. Getting coffee taxis. Taxis. From Drip. Got a latte. Huh? Got a latte. Mine's bigger than this. Mine was cheaper also. I got a flat white. Got a latte. Stopping at Republic Square because she said she doesn't have a video of the statue. So here, I have a video of the statue, I have a video of her getting a video of the statue, and I have a video of the statue again. The Belgrade Fortress, you were there. That's the Victor Monument. You were kind of freezing out there. Now, we're nice and warm in this car. Toasty! I don't know, just go, because the usual practice is check-in and then immig. So I'm going to check in first. Okay, up there. <laughs> what was that face? Did you see my face? At the airport. Reading the timeline of Nikola Tesla at the airport before getting to our boarding gate. What's with the face? Did you do this before me? Who's that sitting next to my sister? What the frick? Bro, that's my sister. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, saying goodbye to this bread that we got from Turkey. Uh, my sister was too sentimental with it to throw it, and so am I. But we have to. Goodbye bread. That fell on the floor in the Istanbul airport.
we were walking to our baggage claim and then I was just looking around I was like hey that's my bag and yeah because it's ours from Belgrade and there's just no one to check in right now but look at this someone's bag is just open there so nice welcome to Vina hello Vienna sausage officially in the EU officially in the EU. Yes. <laughs> Why? It's not it's not it's not an EU state, right? Okay, we're here now with our grandma's first cousin, Lola Emily. And we're in the car cuz they're paying the ticket and it's child lock. Lol. Oh, they're back. Okay. Aesthetic oil farm. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, we're at the house. It's really big. It's crazy. It's huge. Hello. Kung ako lang isadere, ano? Ako malang isadere karon sa balay. Get there. Yeah. And this one is the temperature. Yeah. Adjustment. But this one, temperature adjustment. This one. Oh my. Wait, it's a screen. Okay. There's like a pause button there, a fast forward, a record one. Bye.